Hi, I'm Paris, and I'm a big believer in the vagus nerve being connected to stress, panic, and palpitations, all of which I've experienced, and all of which I've seen improvement in by treating the vagus nerve. Now, the vagus nerve runs between your brain, goes right near your heart, and ends up down in your gut. And at this point, just let me say, I'm not a doctor, not offering any medical advice, just sharing anecdotally what my experience has been dealing with stress, panic and palpitations and what's helped me with those. Now I've used devices to calm down my vagus nerve successfully before. The issue with them has been it's sort of a whole package deal of a meditation and breathing and the vagus nerve stimulation and it's kind of hard to lie down and do that when you're out. And so when a company called Hulest contacted me and said, hey, we saw your vagus nerve stimulator video. We've got one you actually can use discreetly just about anywhere. How about we send you it to try out? And I said, sure, that's just what I'm looking for. So thanks to Hulest for sending me out their Verileaf Mini. This is a little device that looks a little worrisomely to me like a taser that you hold up to where the vagus nerve passes near the ear as it's going brain down to the heart and it does a stimulation through the skin and it's supposed to calm it down and you can do it more discreetly. Well, I'll show you, it's just a little device, but you could be sitting, I imagine, at your, in your cubicle even, and you just kind of have the collar up and have the thing going for a couple minutes and do some relaxed breathing and calm that vagus nerve down along with whatever symptoms it's currently causing. If you don't want to take the time to read through the user manual, as soon as you open the box, right on the inside lid there is basically how it works, but they do include several instruction pages. Probably best to read over these first. Here's what's in the rest of the box. Here's the device itself, pretty compact, a charging cable. And over here, these are the electrodes that you attach to the device to get a good contact with the skin so you can get that electrical stimulation going on. The Verileaf Mini goes for about $200 and you can find out more about it at the link down below this video. Time to pull this guy out and see about attaching electrodes. So here's the device itself. Comes with a little loop on it so you can connect it, I guess, to a lanyard. Keep it real close for use anytime you need it. And you just pull the top off according to the instructions and it fires up as it were. The lights here show the amount of battery charge and then the two holes on the top, you put the electrodes. There are six of these little jars of electrodes included. I think they're reusable and you can order more. Here they are. They feel like yeah, little oily jelly things. I was looking for an on off switch. I thought maybe I need to turn this off before putting the electrodes in, but actually now it seems like these buttons control the intensity because I'm noticing I get the blue line to move up, pressing it one way, blue line moves down the other. I'm gonna put it to the lowest before putting these in. I, oh, there, now the lights are all off. There's a flat end, there's a curved end of these. So I'm thinking the flat end would go down inside. It sticks out just over the level of the plastic frame there. These are moist. I can't tell if they're watery or oily. Okay, I've got those set. They want you to do left and right, minute and a half or so on each side. And you should feel a little buzzing or tingling. Now I think it's turned off. I'm going to put it up to my neck here and see. Is that in line? Yeah, there's the earlobe. Okay, one blue light. Okay. Earlobe. Is it my imagination or am I feeling a little something now? A little, a little the slightest little tingle. Is the light even on? Ah, oh, yeah, I was at one and a half lights and I felt a little stronger feeling. Okay, I'm going to go back down. Earlobe, right down here, okay. Let's try again, go back up. Oh, oh. Yeah, my ear is vibrating. Can you see? Because <laughs> that's what it feels like. Oh, intensity's rising. Ear is vibrating. Oh, and intensity's going back down. Oh my 
gosh, it feels like someone's pulling on my ear. I'm going to put the power down a little. You want a good, strong contact with the skin, and then you don't feel the, the pinchy pokiness of it as much. You want that good contact. I feel it rising up. So, <sighs> I'm certainly having the panic response from doing it, but then it's doing its best to uh, stop that. I feel what exactly what they're showing in the picture, though. It's like somebody's pulling on my ear a little. Okay, it stopped. And then the vibration goes up and around, and then it comes back down. But it feels like my ear is vibrating. And it's 15 seconds on, and then 5 seconds off. Okay, I'm relaxing a little more now. <laughs> Let's go through a couple more cycles of it and see. Ooh, that's vibrating. Even on this low intensity, I'm getting uh, I'm getting some significant uh, interaction with the nerve here. Okay, ah, okay. Now they recommend also, and you can do this as much or as little as you like. I'm feeling all relaxed now. It's kind of weird. Where'd that come from? from this. So uh, they do talk about you can do a breathing exercise where you um, breathe in when it stops because you got a five second pause and you take a deep breath in and then as you feel it start up you slowly exhale over the 15 seconds and then when the, it goes away you take another breath and so I found with another device that I used the breathing really helped a lot and in fact I could use the breathing later on, even if I didn't have the device with me, and it still helped. So it's good training. Okay, I'm going to try a couple of these with the breaths here. Yeah, I move it just a little, and it changes the amount of tingling. So I guess you find just the right spot. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ah, I'm falling asleep almost here. Ah, okay. I'm going to pull it off here as soon as it goes to the next pause. Wow, that's an experience. All right, I just went to the Veraleaf YouTube page and watched how to properly use this, and I was doing it pretty much correctly. You want to increase the intensity to the maximum amount of stimulation, but not so much that you get a pinching or other uncomfortable feeling. And these electrodes should last about a week, and the charge in the device about a week. I guess you don't have to put them back in the, uh, the gel container. You just, oh, that's magnetic. <laughs> you just uh, put the top on. Yeah, that keeps the air out. And yeah. Okay. This is sure handy to take with. So it's ear low, right below it. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go up one more bump. Whoa! <laughs> that was it. Okay, so go down one more bump. I found the spot. But I panic when I felt my ears start vibrating. Okay, okay. I think if I hold it like this, it'll be better. I think the fact that it's off for the five seconds and the, there we go. Oh boy. Yep. Oh, vibration. Yeah, that it sometimes surprises you when it comes on because you don't think you're in the right spot. No, I think I lost the spot. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. Just takes a little practice. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do a few breathe, a few uh, breath cycles with this. Ah. I can say that similar to the other device that I use, the Vegas uh, Vegas nerve device, you have to kind of give yourself over to it because what it does at first feels weird, but when you relax and let it do its thing, then it's amazing. Yeah, and you get the impact here. Ah, yeah. I could see this help in uh, getting to sleep. I may definitely try this tonight. I may try right now. Ah, okay. Wow, 
such a little device having such a big impact. Now I think it's kind of related to TENS, T-E-N-S, which is transepidural nerve stimulation, something like that. Because my father, who's um, up in Seattle and has a uh, pretty bad arthritis in his neck and shoulders. He recently bought a device that's uh, got a whole thing that goes around the neck and the shoulders and it's got electrodes. You got to spray them with water and you hook up the thing and it's got an intensity and that stimulation he says is amazing for relieving the arthritis pain. And I did notice in the instructions with this you can use this on other nerves in the body. The one in the wrist can help with motion sickness and then of course the vagus nerve that I've been trying out here and then the trigeminal nerve which actually can help with headaches and some recommended uses for it both to help you get to sleep to help you have a relaxing start to your day it can actually improve your heart rate variability at the end of a long stressful day and even before a stressful event you can get some calming energy in to start with so it can get you through that event this is just the coolest thing. Thanks again to Hulist for sending me their Verilief Mini to try out. And you can find out more about it at the link down below this video. I am going to introduce this to the rest of my family. I know they could use some help with the vagus nerve issues, but I also want to see their face when they first start feeling their ear vibrating and then see that turn into relaxation and peacefulness. We could all use more of that and I'll see you on the next review. There are so many choices and you don't want to stress. You want your health food and home receiving only the best. That's what we're here for. We give honest reviews. Paris DX.